Welcome to The Snap. This is a segment where we answer frequently asked questions in a very rapid fire format. So let's get right into it. On this week's episode of The Snap, I'm gonna be demonstrating how to properly gauge your heating technique using a common pantry staple, marshmallows. We conducted several heating techniques using marshmallows in place of a VAP cap to demonstrate visually what happens when a VAP cap and a torch is used improperly. The marshmallow in these experiments represents the material you've loaded into the tip. While we mostly demonstrated bad techniques, we also share some good techniques. We have lots of episodes that demonstrate proper heating technique right here. When working with first clickers, the most common reason for poor performance is due to poor technique. This is your material when you have poor heating technique. Pure combustion. I'll go over several bad techniques with you first, so that way you know what to avoid when you're getting ready to sesh. The most common bad technique that I see is burying the flame. I'm fuzzy on the whole good bad thing. What do you mean bad? This only works with a Bic lighter because a Bic is not very hot. But a single torch, that's gonna destroy your material in seconds. Almost immediately, it ignites. That's your material inside the thermal extraction chamber. And it smells like barbecue dog hair. Another issue that I see quite frequently is too slow of rotation speed, moving it incredibly slow. And it takes a little bit longer to reach that ignition point, but just like before, we don't want burning, we want vaporization. Another bad technique is very similar to burying in the flame, but not quite as extreme. When you hold the VAP cap, or in this case, baby stay puffed, you can rather quickly see hot spots forming. Hot spots are bad, okay? Okay. Okay. Now that we've burnt a couple of marshmallows, I'm gonna show you how to do it the right way with the dagger torch. It's an interesting torch as the jet streams cross. Cross the streams. Three things to remember. Consistent rotation speed, keep your flame about an inch away from the cap, and stop as soon as you hear the click. Respect the click. The technique I'm using is called the infinite spin. And as you can see, this works perfectly with a marshmallow as well. If I were to stop and keep heating, the marshmallow on that side will start to burn. I wonder if this would work with a hot dog. You can even see some vapor coming off the marshmallows. And you're gonna see those marshmallows start to brown. And there we go. No burning. Tasty. Delicious marshmallow. And so if you can do this, you can use a VAP cap. And bright side is, if you don't know how to roast a marshmallow, well now, when the urge to eat comes in, you have a snack. I hope you found this episode of The Snap helpful engaging your personal technique without having to dip into your personal valuable stash. Thank you for watching this episode of The Snap. Let us know what other tips and tricks you'd like featured on future episodes. Once again, I'm Retail Josh, and thanks for watching. <laughs>